Hello everyone, uh, this is Gustavo, CTO at IT Convergence and Oracle is director with specialty on applications and here is my video on enterprise command centers. Uh, I want to start with the key um, uh, screen and, and, and web page that Oracle put together for the enterprise command center which is launch.oracle.com backslash uh, Question mark ECC. So if you just click there, you're gonna get, go into this enterprise command center where you can see a, a lot of information, videos from Hamad and also from Cliff Godwin uh, with the announcement of B4. Um, the things here you're gonna uh, gonna be able to to see the um, a large footprint of um, Enterprise Command Center, uh, which is something that um, we're going to, you know, uh, see a few things that were added, uh, lease, uh, contract, uh, project procurement, landed costs, there's a few things uh, that have been added uh, as a footprint for the B4 as well as other uh, features and enhancements. Um, just a quick uh, you know, navigation on this side, you're going to see like for financials, uh, each of um, the you know the modules, how that you know can be implemented and used, the implementation guide and the user guide. Very useful, uh, very user friendly. Also, I want to you know go through a little bit more on you know framework. Uh, this shows you know all these different aspects of uh, features. Uh, there's an addition of uh, all the the flex fields. Um, you know the DFF are are being you know added. Um, there's a, a functionality there that uh, it's helpful for for all of us. Uh, I'll show you in a, in a few minutes. You know the 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 export. You know also how you can save search. Uh, very very helpful as well. Um, there's a chart enhancement. Um, you know there's compare bottom. Uh, as it used to be, um, and then um, there's a admin where you can, you know, uh, check um, online data how that has been loaded, etc. Uh, also, some new features, you know, in terms of, you know, uh, getting the analyzer, etc. Uh, now, in terms of extending, uh, I, I received many questions from companies saying, okay, how can I extend uh, ECC? Uh, very detailed documentation, uh, but let me let me get over to an environment. Um, so this is a, a, an internal environment that we have at IT Convergence, and uh, there's a couple things. I'm going to jump uh, into the Payables Command Center. Uh, this is the Simplify UI. I just had a favorites uh, in that look and feel, um, and and what you're going to see here is you know we're we're starting with new dashboards. Okay, even though there's new products, there's new dashboards as well. Uh, so here is a you know a supplier balance uh, dashboard, uh, which you can see you know all the information as you know uh, pretty similar. There's some improvements on on the charts, um, and you know there's there's the detailed insights. Uh, I'm gonna uh, click here on the search, and you're gonna see that you know I have a couple of of, of saved search. Okay, one has the the global you know the the world uh, icon here that means that that's global for everyone right uh, and this is just for me okay so that's very very useful uh, and, you know even more when when you are working on you see here the approve uh, so it actually you know uh, selects all the the, the approving the validation status okay um, but that's something that um, you can, you know, be very useful for users. Um, there's, yes, there's a new chart uh, dashboard here, which is a period close. There's another very um, useful dashboard that shows, again, it, it's a way to simplify and, and, and make it a little bit uh, uh, further on you know, the, the, the aspects of, you know, financial close and monthly close, where you can see some information like unaccounted events uh, and transfer journals, uh, things that are going to be helping out uh, in terms of I'm gonna take out this refinement so we can see all um, but you can see you know uh, information that it's gonna be um, uh, um, it's gonna be display here uh, across um, you know the, the the module and how you can speed up your um, you know the aspects of closing 
okay um, now um, as, as, I, as I said uh, very useful very uh, intuitive now here there was a new feature that was uh, you know uh, well uh, asked by user which is these you know uh, options and the export okay so when you click on the export you're gonna see here that you know uh, this is the file name it's gonna be a CSV file you can select you know if you want a comma or if you want something else and and what are the records you know I'm gonna do the pages one to five where I want all the records and uh, and you can even compress that file okay it will up, uh, download the 44 records that I have that you can later on uh, uh, um, use now uh, by, by, by just for those who haven't seen this you know if I go here uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be able to, to see if, you know, this event type, as you can see, I just, you know, hover the mouse on top of this uh, value and you can see that in the value it says, okay, click to refine. So what we're actually going to do is, is, is going to be adding this invoice event type invoice validated into, you know, I'm going to click here. So you can see that, you know, it's going to, you know, get a refinement here. At event type invoice validated. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna delete that, and if I hover the mouse on on the second field, um, you know you're gonna see that yes, all these are you know refinements. Okay, now I'm gonna take you back to the supplier balance, uh, where I can go and see uh, through the supplier balance uh, that in the insight. Then there's a couple of, of fields that are uh, look a little bit different. Okay. Um, and it's actually the drill down capabilities because everything is embedded. It's it's part of your e-business suite. It's not a different tool. You're gonna see that you know if if I click here on the if I hover the mouse on top here, it will actually take me and navigate to the invoice workbench. Okay. Even though these you know again as as you can see here, uh, it will uh, open open up uh, Java and it will uh, uh, open up the forms. Even though you know, I'm you know, I'm going to forms. You know, this is this is going to be you know opening. It's going to try to open the forms. So even though I'm in the same um, in the same um, uh, uh, EBS suite, even though it, it could be um, forms or web, you know, you're going to be able to uh, navigate through this information. Okay, um, I'm going to take you a little bit here because I'm, I have admin privileges. I'm going to click here to to customize, um, you know, and the um, you know the the ECC components. So you can see all the ECC components that we have are here. A um, um, couple things like you know adding a search. You know you can easily drag and drop, and and I'm going to be able to add the search here on top um, I can tailor the search and do the configuration this is a universal search and you're gonna see that you can add a placeholder you know what's the search category that you want to use and what's the action okay I'm gonna do a hyperlink a refinement so very useful features very user friendly very intuitive I'm gonna just click here and say yes I want to delete this um, and and what you see here is that you know, I'm I'm uh, navigating and, and tailoring the information. Okay, uh, here if I click, you know, if I have enable here, if they compare. I'm going to be able to compare uh, uh, two things. So how how do I do that? You know, I'm I'm going to hit here. I'm going to take a, you know here uh, in the actions. I can check check the action menu. I can say okay compare. I'm going to enable compare. I'm going to select which column like header attribute okay and I must do that I'm gonna say click save and I'm gonna be able to you know when I when I click here you know to to I'm gonna be able to have the compare button okay which is gonna actually gonna be uh, comparing based on the attributes that I put together okay um, this is from from a uh, navigation um, uh, there's a couple of things in terms of, of uh, um, uh, performance that have been improved I'm gonna click now go back to home and through the home um, I'm gonna check into there's a new responsibility called uh, ECC um, uh, and you know I'm gonna go uh, straight to the ECC developer uh, function 
uh, which is the, the only function that it's available on that responsibility. The responsibility uh, seated is ECC developer. So here I'm going to navigate. As you can see, you know these applications. It has been you know uh, up to 29 items we have right now, um, and and this is before. Uh, so we are, you know Oracle continues to invest on this. Okay, um, now. One of the, the the main areas that are uh, are the you know AP um, um, you know I mean, we're exploring AP uh, data sets okay so data sets we're gonna check on the AP transaction data set okay so here we're gonna see the packages again this is PL SQL only uh, so you can see the packages that you can you know the package name and the procedure. Uh, to get the the data to increment load and the full load uh, and then if you have security rules so how are the security is being handled and if there's a privilege so here from from a, a data set point of view uh, I'm gonna uh, cancel here you can also export that okay there is an export button here that you can export the fields and and the definition now we're gonna get into the the uh, uh, data set uh, and, and I'm gonna go to um, the AP uh, TRX okay data set um, which are you know transactions installments um, just to navigate through the attributes so we see here all the attributes there's a 71 items here uh, so you can see you know all the, the different fields uh, the attribute key the display name uh, we are also going to be if it's searchable or refinable and if it's translatable so there's a, a, a lot of things that, that you will be able to tailor here later on again I'm showing this uh, that's that's how it's seated but you can also um, uh, add a filter create a uh, delete uh, etc okay so very useful in terms of you know how you can uh, tailor the attributes um, there's also an attribute group uh, where you can you know like for example I'm gonna take date so you can you know based on this attribute group you're gonna be grouping the different fields that you have available like invoice type number validation okay um, uh, very useful for later on to include in, in user actions okay you can later on do that um, then we have a um, calculative uh, attribute field so here for example you have the past due date uh, and this is where you calculate it's this day right it's the due date minus the sys date and the unit is day okay um, you had also discounts all right so there's a, 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 a few uh, seated calculated attributes that you can later on uh, add a new one okay we have the buckets typically buckets you know whole bucket uh, this come packet okay um, and then also you have the associations which is how you're going to associate uh, these uh, data as a source uh, with the corresponding attribute to the target data set okay so here we're going through invoice for the holes uh, for the payments we're going through the ledger supplier name and, and 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 so forth so you can have these associations here Okay, a um, couple of things uh, on, on this, you know, you're going to be selecting the data source, you're going to be selecting the database connection. Um, here is where you're going to be loading a submission. So here we're going to say, okay, payables, you know, which data set if we want to submit, you know, we're going to be able to say all or, or let's say transaction. How do we want to do? You know, full load, incremental load, metadata load, etc. Languages, and then just click in submit here. It will pull that out. Um, in terms of export and import, this is you know for transport, transporting your enterprise command center. So these are again very cool cool features uh, when you are moving from you know, an application when you're moving from one environment to another and so forth so this is a, a very useful way of uh, getting uh, the information uh, from a, a perspective from a user perspective um, so again this is a, a quick snapshot of of what is going on with Enterprise Command Center. Again, I'm gonna, you know, uh, get you back to, you know, what is a, a good source of information, which is launch.oracle.com slash question mark ECC for further information. If not, you can reach out to me through uh, social media, uh, 
Twitter or LinkedIn. Um, I'll be happy to help you and, and and get you through you know how to discover the information, how to unlock the data with enterprise command centers. Again, this is a feature that is only available on 12 to 4 and above. Uh, if you have questions, if you are willing to upgrade from 12.1, uh, feel free to contact your IT conversions rep. Thank you very much. Uh, have a good day.